honor of introducing our chief guest, Professor Yashpal, who will be delivering the 27th TA5 Memorial Lecture today on the subject of education for future. Professor Yashpal, born in, on 26 November 1926, is a scientist and educator. He graduated with degree in physics from Punjab University, Chandigarh in 1949 and was awarded a PhD degree from, in physics from Massachusetts Institute of Technology in 1958. During a long academic and research career, he served as a visiting professor at the Niels Bohr Institute, the California Institute of Technology and the Danish Space Research Institute. He was made the chairman of the committee to advise on renovation and rejuvenation of higher education in India by the Ministry of HRD, Government of India. Professor Eshpal has had several prominent positions during his career, which includes Chief Consultant, Planning Commission 1983-84, Secretary, Department of Science and Technology 1984-86, Chairman, University Grants Commission, for long years, 1986 to 91, Professor Paul was known for his regular appearance on the science program Turning Point Telecast on Durgarshan. Most of us, most of us, viewed this program, and for his knack of explaining scientific concepts in layman's language. He has been on the advisory boards for several TV science programs. Several recognitions have been received by him. In 1976, the Government of India awarded Professor Ishpal the Padma Bhushan for his contribution to science and space technology. He was made a Marconi Fellow in 1980 for his work at Space Application Center in Ahmedabad to recognize wise and human leadership in applying modern communication technology to meet the needs of isolated rural villages in India. Besides Patna Bhushan Award and the Marconi International Award, he received many other important awards. To list a few, in 1989, he received the fifth annual award of the Association of Space Explorers in recognition of best effort in bringing benefits of space research to the country. In 1989, Shiromani Award for Achievements in the Chosen Fields of Activity. In 1984, Dayananda Saraswati Centenary Gold Medal for Excellence in Science. G.P. Chatterjee Memorial Award of Indian Science Congress. Zahir Memorial Lecture Award of 1991 at Indian Science Congress. First World Perry Award for Excellence in Distance Education, 1992. Arthur C. Clarke Award for Communication and Space Technology, 1994. The Aesthetic Society's Sir William Jones Memorial Gold Medal, 1996. Indian National Science Academy Award for Science for Polarization. NCSTC Award for Best Effort in Science Popularization, in 2000. Ashishos Ashutosh Mukherjee Award of Indian Science Congress, CEC Award for Educational Communication. He is a Fellow of Indian National Science Academy and has several uh, membership too. Membership on Indian Academy of Sciences, National Academy of Science, Indian National Academy of Engineering, International Academy of Astronautics, National Fellow of National Institute of Education, Foreign Member, American Academy of Arts and Science, Honorary Fellow, Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, Indian Society of Astronauts, Computer Society of India, and Telecommunication Engineers. He had made significant contribution over the years in publication in various areas, including cosmic rays, high energy physics, astrophysics, science education, communication and development, and has published a large number of papers in national and international journals. Some of his scientific work led to discovery of negative 
key meson, the first observations of pair production of elementary particles, elucidation of properties of key mesons and hyperons, the first measurement of K10 and K20 mass difference, understanding the role of cosmic and cosmic ray neutrinos, prediction of rise in the PP cross section, recognition of importance of excited status of particles in multiple meson production at high energies, first development of the leaky box model of cosmic ray propagation in the galaxy, cosmic ray phenomenology including fluxes of various particles in the atmosphere and below ground has done extensive work in theory and practice of communication for development and has proposed new ways of using modern technology including space technology. He has written and spoken extensively on issues of science and society, especially on the need for science to form an integral part of human living, not only in terms of providing tools and techniques for doing things, but also to influence human values ethics and consciousness. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just presented a glimpse of the achievements and recognition received by Professor Eshpal, an eminent scientist and educator of our country. He has kindly agreed to deliver the 27th TFI Memorial Lecture today and it is a great privilege to all of us. Thank you, sir.